This year, Height, the sister company of iBuyPower, has decided to drastically expand its lineup using Nexus Link. And at its center is this. They've built ultra-powerful fans, brilliant LED lighting, and all-in-one liquid cooling. So let me show you some of these products and why this little guy could possibly change the way we build PCs forever. This tiny computer, which Height has deemed Nexus Portal, or NP50, is the heart of Nexus Link. Height's new hardware ecosystem, which provides a simple way to connect and add devices to your setup without a mess of wires. Just to clear up any confusion, Nexus Link is the hardware interface connection between all of your components, and Nexus is Height's software to control all of it. But I'll cover that later in the video. I think Height is really onto something here because everything is controlled through this one wire, and all of Height's products connect in the same way. Come on, I'll show you. Yes, Height did sponsor this video and provide all these products today, including the sweater, but it is about 90 degrees in this garage and I don't have AC, so we're just gonna go with this. I wanna take a look at the NP50 first, even though you can't buy it on its own. This is an upgrade that will add $30 to any kit you choose. So whether you pick the fans or RGB light strips, you can opt for an MP50 during purchase. It's kind of like a small PC. In fact, when I took it apart, of course I took it apart. I had to see what it's all about. I'm sure hype frowns upon this, but I wanted to highlight the quality of this thing. And it's better for me to be the guinea pig than you mess up yours. It's only four screws holding the metal backplate onto the housing, and then you can pull it apart. It does take a little force because there's two thermal pads on the backside. It looks like they're used for cooling the USB Type-C connector's junction points. There are also two screws holding the Nexus Portal circuit board into the case. It's just like a small motherboard. It's even got a few RGB LEDs. Oh, I almost forgot. It can also fit in any case's 2.5 inch mounting location. Since most people use NVMe drives these days and case manufacturers haven't quite caught up to that yet, it's a good use of space on Height's part. The reason it's only an extra $30 is you get the hub, a power harness, and a thermal sensor. That's it. But that's honestly all you need. The power harness is kind of special. At one end, it's got two USB Type-C connectors that plug into the hub. And on the other end, you've got a six pin PCI Express connector, which provides power, a USB 2.0 connector, and a PWM fan header. The Nexus portal handles an array of cooling, lighting, and sensor channels across a node network. This top cover is just magnetic and is easily removed to access all of your ports. Besides the double type C connector, which is located under the magnetic cover, there's also a proprietary plug that links a thermal sensor and legacy PWM connector to the portal as well. This is in case you wanna tie in any fans you already have in your case, as long as they're daisy chained together because you only have one connection. Along the bottom of the Nexus portal, Height has three separate USB Type-C connections. These are three separate channels that allow up to 18 devices each. So you get a total of 54 devices that you can connect to your MP50. You only need one Nexus portal to use Height's devices. But if you're thinking about buying the thick Q60, you don't even need this because it has one built in. Well, kind of. They include an extra USB Type-C port at the top of the Q60 to expand additional Nexus Link products. If you wanna learn more about the Thick Q60, I've got a whole video that's got an unboxing, setup, and a walkthrough of their software that I'll leave linked below. One of their add-ons they created to use with Nexus Link is their FP12 fans, and it's honestly my favorite product so far. They come in a three pack costing $79.99 and only in this two-tone black and white. I'm trying to bully them into giving us more versions, like an all black or maybe an RGB model. If that's something you wanna see, let us know because Height does read those comments. Whether you like the look or not, these are all about performance. They're 120 millimeter fans, but they are a chonky 32 millimeters thick. A standard PC case fan is about 25 millimeters for comparison. They can be adjusted from zero to a hypersonic speed of 3000 RPM. This delivers 105.8 cubic feet of airflow per minute. So believe me when I say these things are powerful. Check this out. Not only are the fans themselves powerful, but the magnets to connect them are just as strong. 
That's right, they can be daisy chained with magnets and push pin connectors. Super easy and perfect for new PC builders. Now they do include a few cables in case you don't want all three fans in a line. They have two type M in to type M out cables. These are the push pin connectors on both sides of each fan. You get one type C in to type M out, one type M in to type C out, oh, and a PWM type C out in case you wanna connect the fans directly to your motherboard. But I'd rather use the least amount of cables possible. There's one really cool feature about the FP12s that I wanna show you. Height has added a thermal and position sensor to each fan. The position sensor helps to easily identify the fan's orientation for customization and control within Nexus. The thermal sensor allows measurement of the air temperature around each fan, so you can create custom curves and dynamically adjust your cooling. The build quality, performance, and features that Height gives you in these FP12 fans for only $80 blows my mind. No wonder they give you a six-year warranty. I hope other companies are taking notes. The LS10 and LS30 are Height's RGB lighting kits, also Nexus enabled. Nice cover art too. The LS10 comes in at $39.99, with the LS30 being $44.99. The only major difference is the LS10 has three 330 millimeter light strips containing 20 pixels each, and the LS30 only comes with two, but they are a whopping 1,000 millimeters long with 62 RGB pixels. Both kits come with the same accessories. They give you two 330 millimeter type C to type C connections, input and output obviously, and then they give you one 600 millimeter type C to type C. They also give you six clips in case you aren't gonna be using the built-in magnetic strip. That's right, the whole strip is magnetic in case you have somewhere metal that you wanna mount your lighting. RGB light strips aren't anything amazing or groundbreaking. The fact that you can plug this RGB light strip into your Nexus portal or even into one of your FP12 fans and control everything through this one cable is incredible. Height software for complete control of all of its Nexus products is called Nexus. I know, very original naming, right? But at least you remember it. The interface is clean and modern looking with a lot of widgets preloaded onto the Nexus desktop that I didn't really need. The ones I found myself using the most are cooling, lighting, and faces. Any you don't want can be deleted if you choose. Cooling was by far my favorite widget. It looks complicated, but it's easy once you spend some time with it. It's got three columns, inputs, curves, and outputs. All you do is pick where you want the temp to read from and drag the dot onto what cooling profile you want. You can create your own as well. I kept the balance profile and used the CPU temp as my input. You can set your own fan curve by clicking the graph and dragging the dots. Then all you need to do is connect the fan curve you choose to the fans you want to be controlled and the software will handle the rest. It's that simple. Lighting in Nexus is designed around the concept of universe and planets. Your whole setup is the universe and each component within that universe can become a planet. Right now, you're only able to select a single effect that applies to the universe and you can split each product into its own planet. You're able to see multiple windows which will then take on different subsections of that same universal effect. Unfortunately, there's currently no way to have each product do its own separate lighting effect. But I am being told that Heights engineers are currently working on this. One option I thought was really interesting is screen mirroring. You drag the box to the area of the screen you want the RGB to copy, and it will always mirror that area. So the lighting will make whatever game you're playing more immersive. Faces are the last useful widget I've found and how you control the pump head's display on the thick Q60. If you're using just these items with the MP50, this doesn't really apply to you. They have preloaded background designs and foreground options like a clock, performance monitor, weather, screen time, and media. They may end up expanding this later. In fact, the app focus tab says coming very soon. This allows Nexus to change the face automatically depending on your application. Height software does have a bit of bugs and glitches, as does any new product. However, they've informed me that they're constantly working on this to improve the overall user experience. If they put forth half as much effort as Intel has for their Arc GPU lineup, I'd be happy. So far, I've seen software updates for user reported issues happening pretty much weekly. Good job, Height. Believe me when I say, this is just the beginning. Height's Nexus Link ecosystem has unlimited expansion capabilities. Because they're using a six pin PCI Express connector, they have quite a bit of power on tap for any components added to the system. Height could design so many more products for their Nexus Link ecosystem. 
and most likely they are. Imagine if they came out with their own custom liquid cooling lineup where you can plug in a CPU block, GPU block, pump, and fans using one cable from each device. That would be wild. Height's new Nexus Link products have really caught my attention and make me thirsty for more. I was over on Height's Twitter page today where they teased that something big is coming up. Who knows what it's gonna be, but I'm willing to bet we'll see it at Computex 2024, which is the first week of June in case you didn't know. I can't wait to see what they have planned. And if you have any questions about any of these products that I talked about today, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you or I'll find out myself and we'll learn together. And as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next one.